All right, guys, welcome to another vlog. Um, we were gonna do some stuff with the Raptor today, but sort of had a change of plans, had a call from my friend Loz at Hardtune. So we're down at Hardtune, bringing the kids down to get some new Hardtune clothes, and they're gonna do a photo shoot and stuff down here. And also got a treat for you guys, showing you around some of the cars down at the Hardtune sort of factory. So we'll go and check it out and see what you guys think. All right, so we've pretty much got everything you could want here at the hard tuned warehouse. So you got Loz's S14.5. We'll find out a little bit more about that in a second. Got his Porsche, whatever that is, but convertible, I believe it's a turbo one. And then you've got an Evo, Evo or GSR? Evo MR. Evo MR, Evo MR. And then for people that are interested, Supras. I like Supras. Tiana hates Supras, so we'll try and find out a little bit more about these cars while we're here. Alright, so this is Loz from Hardtuned. Hey. <laughs> if you've ever seen any of the uh, Hardtuned stuff around, Loz is the brains behind it all. He's just telling me a little bit about the Supra. You can tell them. Okay, so <laughs> I picked this up a couple of weeks ago and... Uh, I was only that new. Yeah, yeah, literally, um, it uh, just popped up, my friend linked me on it and um, I was talking to the owner, he's very meticulous. Stealthy. And uh, yeah, it's a late model RZS um, with about, I think it's 680 at the wheels. Uh, it's got a 3582 with uh, only mild work done to the engine and stuff like that. Roll cage though and seats, everything's oh, done. Oh, it does have interior. it. Yeah. Is it unlocked? Yeah, yeah, it should be unlocked. Are they Evo seats? Uh, they are Evo seats, yeah. There you go. I know that from hanging around Adam. <laughs> Adam and his Evo stuff. Yeah, so full carbon interior, everything done. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I always uh, love the cockpit of a Supra. Do I don't think so. AGI cage? No, you don't go in there. Yeah, so, um... Do you like this car, Boston? Yeah. Show me. Hey. Do you like it? Yes. You love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. <not, it's>, uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so I wasn't really an Evo... I mean, a Supra person, but... I am. Um, I love them. Yeah, they're just... Uh, um, out, 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 out. No, no, no. Well, I saw everybody over in Germany and whatnot drifting them, and uh, so I thought there must be something oh, yeah. special about them. Spooly boy. Enough people, yeah. But, um, That's right too. Yeah, real nice. Everything TRD on it. Yeah, a lot of lot of TRD goodies. Um, Queer and, ride. Uh, yeah, KWs. Um, they are uh, undercompensating here. You need like a bigger filter. It, it looks a little bit uh, sad. It looks it? small, doesn't it? Yeah, real small. But, um, no, I think you just don't see unmolested ones, so as soon as I saw this, I thought... Um, well, that's, that's kind of molested. Oh, lightly. Lightly, lightly you can't molested. Have a dead stop. To be fair, that's a small turbo for a 2J. Yeah, definitely. Oh, according to everybody, that's the that's a good size. Yeah, but that'd be <laughs> that'd have to be super responsive, wouldn't it? Is it fairly uh, responsive? Uh, it comes on, it starts coming on about three and a half, four and a half, four yeah. boost. So it's an older turbo. So. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it, I think there's a newer version of that, but... Um, yeah. I don't know, for, for the power it's got and everything, it's, it's a great, great thing, so. What are you doing? I'm driving the Supra. <laughs> Man, he's, he's so into cars, it's ridiculous. Nice. <laughs> so this thing's got history. This thing's got mega, mega, mega history. How long have you had it? Uh, I've had this for, gosh, at, at, least, least, at least 16, 17 I'd years say, now, yeah, yeah, at least around that. So it used to be gold. It was the, it's all, it still is the uh, top car on the top of MrsSylvia.com. Yeah, I, I mostly remember the gold, gold S14.5 with the JTCs. Yeah, that's right, exactly. And now, I mean, uh, uh, after we resprayed it, we thought freshen it up, give it something new, and really, you know, what what can you do to a to a Sylvia? I don't know. It's because uh, it's been uh, it's everyone, been on and off drift car as well. Like you did right. drift it a little bit when it was gold. I think it, it did one or two rounds of the uh, Drift Australia back in the day. It was yeah. the chase car and the, or the pace car, whatever. Ah, for, for drift Australia. Yes, that's right. Um, I think Aussie drove it back in the day. Um, Beckett drove it up here a few times um, for Stadium Drift. Yeah. And then, uh, what else? We did a few things with it, a lot of circuit days and stuff like that. And um, then obviously just a tough streeter for the rest of it. And um, I think seven engines, if you scratch the paint, you can probably get down to like eight layers or something by now. From the SR? For, uh, and it's still, still SR? Still SR, never changed SR, no. I bought... Uh, Sorry, he really just fell over. <laughs> yeah, no, I've never thought to change it. I, I, I see, uh, it's got a... 
What is it? It's sort of like a matte pearl? Uh, yeah, it's Lamborghini Aventador um, Bianco Canopus. So, yeah, matte so pearl white. Fancy white. Fancy white. <laughs> fancy yeah. white. Yeah, the worst colour to paint it if you're wanting to track it. <laughs> yeah. And bright interior, Motec. I tried to buy one of them today and yeah. the guy didn't get back to me. Yeah, the how the how tech dashes actually. Uh, yeah, the how tech dashes. The, that's what uh, I meant to say. I said Motec. That's yeah. what I was trying to get. That's what I was the, trying to the get. The how techs will be coming up cheap because they've just released the new yeah. color screen. Yeah, exactly. So you'll be able to get them. That's what I was trying to get hold of. Someone had one for like five hundred and fifty bucks, and I was like, "Ooh, that'd go perfect <laughs> in my S13." That's it. Yeah. Can we have a peek here? This one as well. So yeah, yeah, for sure. So, so SR22, um, SR2.2 stroker, stroker. Uh, two eighty cams, like big, big, big cams. It's got a uh, 3076 on it. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's only on 98 and uh, makes a decent car on 98. So well, you don't drive it enough to put it on the 85. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's that's the thing. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, E85 and, and it's a bit more. We're only running 17 psi waste cap pressure, so yeah, I mean, it's got a lot more potential. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, just don't drive it enough. To I was going to say, you know how I know you don't drive it enough is you've still got the elbow down here. <laughs> the the rubber elbow there because that'll blow apart the moment you started drifting it hard. Oh really? Yeah, hundred percent. What's that? What? Because you build boost, you or? build up so much heat on that elbow, oh, and they really? blow out every time. Oh wow! Okay. Like without that's fail that's right, on any on any drift car, guys. If you <laughs> you want to weld the ninety off the turbo every time, especially if they come down to the bottom because they're in close proximity to the manifold right here, and they get a whole heap of heat onto the back of it on top of the heat that's forcing against it so mm. haven't thought about it. haven't so heard that haven't, one before no, heard that one. yeah very very wow. common and happens a lot um there was a 1j car i was driving in new caledonia and it was just happening the whole event constantly constantly yeah. yep so and yeah. sr ones everything you've got to get that 90 welded on yeah. but if you're thrashing on the street here and there and not doing constant laps you'll be fine it's no problem yeah yeah, I mean, we haven't had too many problems with it. So, yeah. Surprising, Maybe actually. 19th? Yeah, uh, how, how much the, the, the big head gasket and how much lower the compression of the engine, so... These are big. Are they 20s on the back? Uh, they're 19s already. Oh, they're 19s. So they're 19 by 12, I think, at the rear, and a yeah, 19 right. by 10 and a half at the front. Yeah, they look... Those look smaller than the back for some yeah, reason. It's just, I don't know, yeah, but um, Neg 17 as well. Oh, so. There's a wing there. Whoops, sorry. Yeah, Someone nah. parked a Porsche in my way. That's my bad. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we may as well go on to this. Yeah, okay, so yeah, we. Um, the this guys, was cool. Yeah, Seti and, and Jeremy from Brothers Lab yep. um, helped me, and uh, they spent countless hours on yeah. this thing. I remember I seeing this as. Like a, it was a, it was a wrecked. It was or uh, had a fire or yeah, something. Yeah, basically, it was. I think it was owned by a doctor, and it had the front bar and the rear bar was punched in, and yeah. um, I think the um, basically, yeah, just um, no Shortened no it. rail <laughs> damage really or anything, no chassis damage, just um, just cosmetics, the headlights, the tail lights. Yeah, and so it was the perfect donor car, really. And yeah, so, I, so, I remember seeing it and then finding out it was yours. I was like, oh, this thing's going to turn out pretty cool. So yeah, it looked horrible when when we picked it up and got it towed here. It just looked looked a mess and yeah. uh just obviously hadn't been looked after and well, so when i saw it there was nothing on it like because no, they completely it, was, it was completely stripped when i saw it at the brothers lab so yeah so yeah they do we engine out um every panel off basically dash out uh, there you go out. nadi and a porsche yeah that's right the police don't like that one <laughs> nah <laughs> well oh no because this would have came with airbags yeah that's oh, right. okay because they've just revised the rules recently i just found out literally the other day that if your car is pre airbag um you can get away with no padded center if it's dished and that's oh. literally in the rules now so one to keep in mind guys if your car was um obviously didn't come with an airbag originally you can get away with running a non-padded center provided it's dished and i don't know to what amount of dish you need to have but it needs to be dished yeah um but there's no motor in the front that's the trunk the frunk that's it. So yeah, literally nothing in the front and all the rear. Wait. Oh, what's in here? Is there stuff in here? There's nothing in here. <laughs> Absolutely nothing but a boot. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought, I thought that was going to be like some oil coolers or something in there. No, no, we didn't get too hard on Nice that. little half cage in there to keep you somewhat safe. Maybe. Because it's know. not stock. <laughs> yeah, you would see how you go with that one. It's also got um, pop-up bars that come out of here. Oh, if you do a jump. Accident. Yeah. 
Or if you do a jump. Or if you do a jump, yeah. Yeah, don't do jumps. And then we've got, so, uh, GT3 RS um, uh, intake throttle bodies. Uh, we've got Fab Speed Carbon. Um, so, yeah, Fab Speed oh, Carbon intake. Carbon the, yeah, stuff. Yeah, the GT3 RS stuff up there. We've got um, GT3 RS style exhaust there. And we've mm. got some... Um, RSS. Um, Is there sparkles in this paint? Oh no, it's just oh. stuff on it. No, no, no. That's just because the uh, the I think the cats are starting to blow up because um, all the hills runs. I was going to say thrashing it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, they've started to give way. I think so. We need new mufflers in the thing. But yeah, uh, sounds amazing. GT. Is it paused? Oh, no. no? GT3 cut car wing out of, uh, off of one of the way. It flew off, I think, on Gold Coast 600. Oh really? Yeah. That's the one I just ran into. Thing. So yeah, it's actually a factory Porsche. Well, it's pretty sturdy because it hurt when I walked into it. So. Yeah, that's right. So it's carbon, carbon Kevlar. Oh, so true. Super lightweight. Yeah, it's uh, quite nice. And oh, so, you would. Yeah. Oh, is there a reason you didn't keep the carbon Kevlar? Is it because it was damaged? So. Oh no, they come painted. So oh, they come painted. They come painted, but they've yeah. got a foam, foam core and just carbon Kevlar on the outside. Yeah, and, sick. Yeah, so cup car everything pretty much. Yeah. So that was the idea was to, to basically mash a cup car. With yeah, with a street car. Just for something different. I don't hey, know. I'm about that convertible life. Yeah. Oh, it's hey, the convertible life is a good life. Nothing better than going through the, the mountains and um, hearing the, the, the exhaust like echo off of everything and yeah. just get that note, that flat six sounds amazing. So, I think, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't go up in the hills in mine. I'd set the woods on fire with my exhaust <laughs> out the bush side. Fires at the moment. Um, but I did get some super sick news today, which I need to tell you guys about. Um, you'll probably like to hear about it as well, but I just got invited to do the city cruise um, at Summonat. So I'm super stoked about that. I was actually literally giggling like a little kid um, when I found out. My wife thought there was something wrong with me. Um, but I was super excited because, uh, yeah, I get to do the city cruise in my s convertible, which is something, was sort of a bucket list. So I'm very stoked about that. City cruise? Where's that in? Through the city of Mount Gambi uh, of um, Canberra. Of Canberra? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so, yeah. cool. All roundabouts as well. So you've got to be able to contain <laughs> yourself. Yeah, I was going to say, I need to contain myself, but just being able to cruise with, you know, some of the toughest cars in the country and to be recognised as having a tough car is definitely pretty cool, especially in a summer nats crowd where they're more about hot rods and stuff to come out there with my version of a hot rod, which is small car, big engine. That's a hot rod. Yeah, so, that's right. Yeah, yeah. No, that's awesome. That's yeah. definitely rad. So definitely Porsche cool. is sick. Yeah. I definitely like this. Who's it? Was it one of your friends or one of Mark's friends? Twin turbo Porsche. I was drifting one time at, at um, uh, in that same time I drifted your G37. Oh, that was um, yeah, that was, uh, was Nick's out at out yeah. at Norwell at the driving centre. Yeah. yeah, that was a tough time. That, that thing. Was, yeah, yeah, on the skid pan and whatnot. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, the the four wheel drive because the turbo is a four wheel drive. I can yeah. imagine that's why. Well, it wasn't the all wheel drive. Had... The electronics just wouldn't turn off. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. The, that's why we, I was going to go the Porsche Turbo, but I wanted that rear wheel drive feel. Yeah, so. the NA is cooler anyway, I think. Yeah, definitely. They're and then, and... and then we got Lancer. Yeah, so we've got a grocery. <laughs> no, this is uh, Evo Evo XMR. So um, uh, with the full. Full factory kits. So. They don't look too bad, to be fair. They're just not my cup of tea. Yeah, I think they're, they're just too Lancer. Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? Like, they're still a Lancer. That's right. Sorry, Lancer guys, if you're watching, or Evo guys, but you just got a Lancer. That's simple as that. Same way, my Raptor's pretty much just a Ranger, but yeah, just not my thing. What do you think about these cars, Carly? Good. Which one's your favourite? All of them. All of them. Which I one? Have, I don't have a favourite. All of them. What about convertible cars? Do you like convertibles better? Mm-hmm. Which one's a convertible? Mm, that one. That's got a roof. <laughs> what about this one? Doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So they're just all even to you. You don't have a favorite? You like the Porsche? I like all of them. You like all of them. Oh, that's a good answer. That's, it's, it's, that's a it's good answer. It's yeah. diplomatic. <laughs> right. Yeah. Boston. Which one's your favourite car in here? Oh, straight away. You like that one. <laughs> you, hey, don't, 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 don't let him kick the car. Put him down. Put him down. Put him down. Not near the cars. Not near the cars. I don't know. You want to go in it? Oh, no, don't climb. Don't climb. Here, we open the door. Open the door. Hop in. Oh, you got this. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good.
All right, you like this one, Boston? Oh, don't touch the coins. All right, show me how you drive it. Boston? Boston, show me how you drive it. Okay, but I can't drive it. You show. Drift it, change gears. It doesn't have the ball. What about the gears? The gears, in the middle. Yeah, that one. All right, so we're now up here in the office of Hard Tuned. Where you guys know how to party. <laughs> we don't get too much work done with all the toys. The yeah. simulator over there and the pinball machines here. Pinball machines here. And there's a simulator over here as well. Yeah. Which is good. Don't try and break in here. But, and they got sim. Do a drift? Drifting, it's, Come on, uh, do a drift. I think it's set up with the Hoonigan RX7 at the moment. Is that what you're trying to do, Mark? I'll set up with Hertz car. I'll have yeah, to yeah. go through these uh, settings. So go back and do a skid. Do a skid for the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they do these wicked things as well, if you haven't seen them already. You'll see them up on the... You still got them up on the store? What's that? Yeah, we've got a few of these ones left. So we've got some of the... Signed think, ones. Uh, signed ones, I think, are all sold out now. Um, we've got about 15 or 20 of the um, unsigned yeah. decks left. These are pretty sick. Definitely cool stuff. Yeah. Alright, Boston, what do you got? What that is it, Bossy? Boston! What is it? Supra, it's a Supra? Ooh. <laughs> no, Hachiroku. Hachiroku. Nah, he wants a Hachiroku. Boston. You got style, son. This is one? That one better? This one That's better. Hachi Hachiroku. Hachi? Say yuck, Supra. Yuck, Supra. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even want to see the Supra, look. <laughs> How rad is this? Drifting before I could walk. Yeah, we need that. Yeah. That's the pretty much, that's, we say that as like Boston and Scarlett over there on the sim. Was that you like those ones? Well, it's funny because you, you've literally got them over there on the sim <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, what's the other one? Who needs toys? Just give me more boosts. Well, literally. Nice. They are doing what's on, what's on, the, what's on this one? What's that? It's a turbo? My, I'm a Hachiroku, yeah. you spoken. Look, Boston and Scarlett ready for their first photo shoot. That's not how you get Are you ready, Scarly? Yeah! <laughs> Scar, please properly. Okay. That's cool. And Shuckers, boss. Boss, <laughs> <laughs> well, Shuckers. Yeah, so Scarlett's definitely my daughter. She loves the camera. <laughs> so Boston and Scarlett have just completed their uh, first photo shoot, I guess you could say. Um, pretty funny though, man, because um, he got a super jumper out and Scarlett of Boston was instantly like, no, I want Hachiroku. So that was pretty funny. Proud, proud moment for mum there, because mum doesn't like Supras. I like Supras, but mummy doesn't like Supras, so she was very happy with the children. Scar, show me it. Show me it, Scarlet. What does it say? What does it say? It says Drifter. That is sick. That's that one, Scarlet. you proud, mum? Huh? Does it look like I'm a model? No, no, that you don't. What? You're still proud of her? Yeah. She's doing a good job. She's doing better than you. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna jump. Are you? Don't be silly. No. no. <laughs> Alright. E85 start. E85 start? <laughs> Come on. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're about to go out to get some ramen, but give you guys a 2J startup video. It's 85, so it might not start straight away. It's, it's not cold, so it should be, right? Should be okay. Should be. Alright, let's see. Not bad. Twin plate in it. <laughs> Any 
everybody who's been watching these vlogs for a while knows that this is my favourite. And knows that she hates it. Yeah. yeah. Octopus balls. Octopus balls. Takiyaki. I'm gonna go Asahi. And edamame. Yeah? You only got one. Whoa. Oh, you got guacamole on What do I get? What do we got? Like we some got sort of one, uh, sesame, sesame spicy something. I've already just tried some of Tiana's chicken one and I'm already sweating, so it'll be good for the cute. Mine's spicy. That's a tiny bit spicy. Alright, Muso Ramen in Labrador. Recommend it guys. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up right there. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you in tomorrow's vlog for some Raptor stuff. Bye.